Hey guys, it's Cece here and in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create a gorgeous two-tier macrame hat hanger which will look just like the one that you can see here. Now macrame hat hangers are such a great way to have your hats on display rather than hiding them away in a cupboard or stacking them up on top of each other so they can tend to lose their shape and get a bit warped. So the pattern that I have created today is a slightly more advanced pattern which allows you to hang two hats within two different tiers. I also have a beginner friendly, really quick and easy version of this hat hanger but it's only a one tier hat hanger. So if you have haven't had a look at that tutorial yet, make sure you check it out. I'll leave the link in the description below. Today I've got some beautiful hats hung up in my hat hanger. They're from a company called Bashiri and they have a gorgeous online shop with lots of handmade hats, baskets and all other kinds of products. So make sure you check out their shop. I'll leave the link to that in the description below as well. Let's move on to the pattern for this hat hanger. And I will use a few different knots for this pattern. So if you don't know how to create these knots as we're going along, I will also make sure that the tutorials for each knot pop up so you can click on the links and go to videos for those knot tutorials. Now for this pattern, what you're going to need is one wooden ring, or you can also use a metal ring if you like, but I've used a wooden one today. And you're also going to need some cord. I've used a three millimeter single strand twisted cotton cord, and you're going to need four strings cut to four meters in length each, as well as one string cut to 30 centimeters in length. So first I'm going to take my ring and then attach the strings to this ring using a lark's head knot. So just taking each string one at a time and finding the center point by folding it in half. And then just taking this loop and putting it through the ring and creating a lark's head knot. Just like so. So now that I've got all my strings attached to the ring, I'm just going to pop it under this clip here so it's secure for my knotting. So now the first thing we're going to do is create a square knot using the middle four cords. And then we grab the next two cords out. So the second cord from the left and the second cord from the right. And then I'm going to use these two cords to create a square knot around the two center cords. And then I'm going to grab these final two cords on the outside here and bring them in over the top of these other cords. And I'm going to use these two outside cords to create a square knot around these two cords in the center. So now I'm just flattening out my cords again so they're in order. I'm going to take these four cords on the left here and create a square knot with these.
and then take the next four cords and create a square knot with these four. Then I'm going to take the middle four cords and create a square knot with these four. And now I'm going to grab the first cord on the left, hold it on a diagonal over the top of the other cords. And then I'm going to use cord two and create a double half hitch with this cord. Then I'm going to move along to the next cord and create a double half hitch with this cord. And then again to the next cord, creating a double half hitch knot with this cord. Then I'm going to take the first cord on the right, bring it over the top of all the other cords, just on a diagonal, and then grab the second cord from the right and create a double half hitch with this cord. And then the next cord creating a double half hitch. And then the next cord creating a double half hitch knot. And I'm going to keep creating double half hitch knots using all the other strings so I have a line that's diagonally going down across the whole piece. So now that I've finished that diagonal line of double half hitch knots, I'm then going to count four chords in from the right, grab that chord there, and then hold that chord across the other chords on a diagonal downwards and to the right. Then I'm going to use these three chords and create a double half hitch with each one of these chords. So now your pattern should have this beautiful little X shape in it. And now inside this area here, we're going to put a Josephine knot. So we're not going to use the two outside cords for this part, so I'll just put them off to the side. And then splitting the other cords up into two groups of three. And then you start with this side and create first loop, 
then taking this cord over, under, over, under, over, under. Now, if you don't know how to create the Josephine knot, I do have a tutorial available. So that'll take you very slowly through how to create this weave. So make sure you check that video out. So now I've finished my Josephine knot. We're just gonna take these two cords on the outsides here. And I'm just going to bring them around over the top of the other cords. And essentially I'm trying to make a diamond shape. So it's a mirror image of above here. So starting with this cord here, I'm going to create a double half hitch knot. And you just want to play with it a little bit so that you're happy with where it's sitting. So shuffling the other cords around and then grabbing the next cord in and creating a double half hitch with that knot. And then the next cord along, creating a double half hitch again. Now moving on to the other side and doing the same thing on the left. So taking this first cord on the left, holding it up across the other cords and grabbing the next cord along and creating a double half hitch. And then the next cord, creating a double half hitch. And then the next cord, again, creating a double half hitch. Now you wanna bring these two points together. So I'm just gonna keep holding this string over the top of all the other cords. And I'm gonna create a double half hitch with each one of the cords left in the group. Once I've got my Josephine knot secured in place, I then like to come back to it and actually just play with it a little bit more. So it's sitting really lovely inside that diamond. Now, 
Now I'm going to come along to the fourth chord from the left and then hold that over the other chords on a diagonal downwards to the left. And then grab the third chord from the left and create a double half hitch with this chord. And then getting the next chord over and creating a double half hitch with that chord. And then that final chord here and creating a double half hitch with this chord. So now we're just going to find the center four chords and create a square knot with these four chords. And you want to put it all the way up inside that little triangle space there. And then I'm going to take the four chords on the left and create a square knot with these four. And then grabbing the four chords on the right and creating a square knot with those four. So now we again take the middle four chords and we create a square knot with these four. Now we grab the next two chords over on either side. So I've got the second chord in on the left and the second chord in on the right. I'm going to bring these over the top of those other chords and then use these two to create a square knot with these chords here in the center. And then grabbing the outside two chords, bringing them up over the top of the other chords, and then using these two outside chords to create a square knot around the center two chords. And so now we have the top half of our hat hanger with this beautiful detailed top section here. So the next step is to measure the circumference of your hat and then divide that by two. And then you wanna measure down that length on your string and then we'll start working again from that length. But first what I'm going to do to keep these cords nice and neat so they're together in order is about 10 centimeters down I'm just going to create a little square knot with this group of four cords on the left. I'm going to do the same thing with the group of four chords on the right.
So the circumference of my hat is 60 centimeters. So I'm just going to measure 30 centimeters down from this point here, which is which is there. And then I'm going to create a square knot right at this measurement here using the middle four cords. And then I'm going to grab the second cord in on the left and the second cord in on the right. And then use these two cords to create a square knot around these center cords here. Then I'm going to grab the outside two cords and bring them over and into the center and use these two outside cords to create a square knot around these two middle cords. So now we're going to grab the middle four cords and create another square knot. Except we're going to leave a little bit of a gap in between the top square knot and this square knot here. So maybe two or three centimeters. And then we're going to push the square knot up. So we've created these two little bow looking things here. Then I'm going to grab these two cords here. So the second cord in from both the left and the right. I'm going to bring that around and create a square knot with these two cords as well as the two middle cords. And then again, leaving a two or three centimeter gap in between this square knot and the square knot that we're creating now. And then we're just going to push this square knot all the way up. And then finally grabbing these two outside cords, bringing them over and using these two cords to create a square knot around the two center cords. Again, we're gonna leave that two or three centimeter gap in between the two square knots that we're creating. And then we're going to push that square knot and we've created this really gorgeous pattern like so. Now I then like to actually grab the ends of the string and feed them back through to the front like so. because then it's more of a mirror image of the top half here. So now we split the cords again into two groups of four. And then about 10 centimeters down, I'm just going to create a square knot with this group of four on the left.
and the same with the group of four on the right. So to finish this off, we just get the measurement of our hat again, and we're going to measure half the circumference of our hat down. So again, mine is 30 centimeters. And this time what I'm going to do is bring all my cords together using a wrap knot. So I've got my 30 centimeter cord here, and I'm just going to create a wrap knot around all these cords. Cutting these two ends. And then also cutting our tail to our desired length, which I like to do once I've got it hung up. So let's go and hang this up and pop the hats in there. So there you go guys, my hats are all hung up and they look beautiful in their new hat hanger. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and you'll give it a try for yourself. Remember I also have a super easy 10 minute hat hanger that you can make for one hat. So if you haven't checked out that video, I've got the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching everyone and here's to finding our peace and creativity.